the town, uh, acting assistant director Kenya Wildlife Service, Mountain Conservation Area. Uh, let me say that um, it's very sad that uh, Mabadia ecosystem is on fire. And uh, it being on fire, I would like to say that I would, uh, the community around this area in Wandare, Teleview, Ebaringo, and all over, they have really done a great job. Together, in assisting us, together with Kenya, Kenya Forest Service staff, and our staff, and uh, we hope that uh, the fire will die. That's our hope. There are some showers as we left, uh, as we left the forest uh, a few minutes ago. Uh, there were some showers, and we hope that uh, all be fine. However, the most important thing is to ensure that the fire does not get into the indigenous forest. Oh, and uh, where the fire is burning now, it has been uh, controlled by the teams. And uh, where what is burning actually is actually uh, tassel grasses or the murad uh, grasses and some shrubs. And that's not a very big risk, uh, risk because regeneration is very high. But I would like to appeal to Kenyans, not only in mountain conservation area, that includes Abadea, uh, Mount Kenya, Sabu, and all other places. But I would like to appeal to most of Kenyans who are listening to this, that please don't burn the forest. So the, I would say 99% of all the fires that we have experienced, either in Mount Kenya or Abadea, the cause is illegal as a result of illegal activities. These are people either uh, gathering honey maybe illegally. Uh, however, sometimes we have situations whereby, uh, like in Mount Kenya, people repairing a water pipe. But where the fire started, we can tell this was an illegal activity. And of the area whereby we have a fire suppress a suppression and uh, management strategy in collaboration with KFS and uh, stakeholders. And I would say that. Uh, the communities neighboring the forest, especially at the entry point, we have uh, signage. If you visit the Kenya Forest Service offices, you'll see, uh, and KWS, you'll see signage showing or indicating or rating the fire according to the season. If it's very dry, whether the risk are high, moderate, or low. And when we are doing community, we are, we are holding meetings with members of the community, we also tell them and we enlighten them. This is basic knowledge that during the dry season, the fire risks are very high.